Southbound hey guys, approaching today we are going to be watching are coverage of police ATD chase in Houston. Let's get to now. Pursuing that black Lexus that you see traveling at a high so rate you can see that black Lexus this traveling. Been going on for about 15 minutes or so. We see you that can see that black Lexus traveling at a high rate of speed. In pursuit of this high rate of speed, a black Lexus high rate of speed. This has been going on for about 15 minutes or so. And they think that two HPD officers are in pursuit and they're calling up ahead. It started. Um, the high 605 that in Maine at about 105 this afternoon. 105 p.m. this afternoon. So uh, again, the, this, is, this has been going on for right at least now, the last the like 10 the to 15 is, minutes is or so. Open, but again, now, this vehicle, we're getting at a this point, at one point, the driver kept going. Going and looking going. At a black Lexus that looking is at a black, looking at a black police Lexus. officers. We do know that Houston police, uh, police law enforcement officers are and pursuing up speed, this vehicle right now. We're getting a weaving look. in and out of traffic. This now is a south loop under Passing the 225 Again, this exit. Has been going on for about Again, 15, it's been going on. Or so. This has been going on ongoing exactly for the past led to this pursuit, 15 to 20 this minutes person, or so. The and they think the driver getting ready to pass the Gulf Gate Freeway. And again, we are looking at that is now approaching the Gulf Freeway. We are looking at up. They are approaching the Gulf Gate Freeway now. That vehicle is passing other cars that as they travel is passing on, other cars. On, on the freeway there, uh, kind of weaving in and out of traffic. And that vehicle Again, is getting ready to pass behind the, the Gulf Gate Freeway, the Gulf Gate is, Mall. Uh, who else might be in the vehicle or why they're, why they're fleeing police well, at this who point. Else but who we might know be in the vehicle. is pursuing that black Lexus Who is pursuing um, right this now, black Lexus? We're getting a live look from Sky 2 at 1.30 on this Monday at afternoon. At 1.30 this, um, this afternoon, 1.35 this afternoon. Weaving in and around. But we do know that with these, it's 81 degrees in Houston. We do know that we, this is now heading west. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. South. Okay. I am. 610 South okay, Loop right there. 610 South Loop. That black sedan okay, is what we're focusing okay. on right now. Again, producer Steve is, is giving on. coordinates as we we're as we past. watch this vehicle flee police. Again, we don't we're about, we don't know what maybe started this about police 20 chase. Minutes um, or so, we don't know who is in that vehicle. And they driver picking up speed. With, uh, and like then this, it is always, um, during the afternoon hours, we've seen drivers. Okay, this vehicle. This vehicle, this vehicle is now getting ready to pass now the Gulf getting ready Gate to pass Mall, the Gulf Gate told, Mall. But, we yeah, are being you can told see that that black sedan is what we're focusing on right now. This pursuit has been going on for about 20 minutes now. And during the afternoon, afternoon, during hours, afternoon not hours, hours, not a lot of vehicles, out on the road, not not vehicles not on the road this time, which is passing the truck. It a little bit of a, an easier situation for this vehicle to weave in and out of traffic. But again, we're focusing right again, now. Again, we're focusing right this now. Black sedan. It looks like there are two HPD cruisers on this black sedan. This we are vehicle. beginning to get told uh, right that from the HPD. Is the time on a Monday afternoon. 135 is, is uh, the Monday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> in and out of, of traffic at this hour, but we, again, we don't know what we're still learning to try to figure there are, out. Who they are still is learning, trying to figure out who is in the occupants in the vehicle. Why they are fleeing police at this point, but certainly it's always a dangerous Why are they fleeing police at this point? One male suspect inside the vehicle, we're assuming. Westbound on the south loop. Okay. Coming and up this on chase now been going on 20 so to 25 again, minutes. It started in 610 in Maine, 105 p.m. this Lexus afternoon. Trying to flee HPD right there. HPD, and picking up speed. Um, this vehicle. This, as far as 70, we know, this vehicle has remained on the highway. 70 miles so an hour. Not on any side street at this point, so it's kind of got open road at this point. And this chase is now coming up on MLK. They're coming up onto so MLK. Again, looking at this, the, the black sedan, we, we oftentimes black we don't know sedan, what originally black, starts these black chases. We just do, we do know that it is always a dangerous situation. They are getting ready to pass the is pull, law uh, to pull out the spike strips no to deploy it so they can stop the vehicle. The so they can stop the vehicle. And that driver is zipping along. In okay, the, the driver is zipping lane. along. HPD in pursuit right now. Time now, 1.35 here on a Monday afternoon. Yeah, 1.35, Monday afternoon. About 25 minutes. Unclear why this person 
is running from Unclear police. Unclear. Why is this person right now. running? See at least one police cruiser uh, gaining ground there. This is uh, taking place on the south loop right near Cullen. As Christine mentioned just a couple of minutes ago. And uh, they started a couple of minutes Monday, ago. This time of day, we would see a lot yes, they started in 610. In May, a couple order, of minutes, a couple of, a lot of people, uh, maybe a few minutes, a few minutes really ago, out during this part of the day. or so, so I think, yeah. Uh, if anything, that's good news for folks who are uh, for on folks, the road right now. For They're not seeing folks, a big backup of traffic right now. Who are but watching this, black sedan, you can black see, Lexus, as you can see, right there as in you the can center, see of, the center screen, of the screen, weaving in and out of traffic right now, trying to in and out of traffic, getting the exit, taking the exit, and okay. Chase just got underway about uh, 30 minutes ago. And this chase got underway at about at 20 to 30 minutes ago. We are told from and it began at about 105 and 610 in Maine. About 5 or 10 minutes ago. Or so. Now, we don't know why the driver yeah, again, it started about yeah, 5 or, five or 10 minutes Lexus ago. HPD in Maine and 610 in Maine. But as to why that driver took it started off maybe about that remains unknown at in this point. In Maine, about five or ten like or twenty minutes to go. To try to, uh, five or ten minutes to go or so, I should say. That, that yeah. And just to give you some perspective here, <clears throat> just to what give you, you some perspective, was that vehicle exit, the Scott was that street, vehicle exit, exit that street, that Scott exit. The freeway. The vehicle's now back on the freeway. On the south loop. Again, this is past Scott Street. This is past the see, Scott looks Street. Like the car is still yep that's the car right there in the center lane with at least one hpd cruiser uh hpd suv <coughs> hot on its tail one right hpd now. cruiser uh, hot on the tail and the uh, how fast dps helicopter is in the air the dps helicopter and the dps cruiser is in the air you can't see the vehicle the closed captioning there you go uh, there's a live coverage as they get close Going to 20 close at about 20 like minutes at about they close it's not the close I'm just kidding okay, no, 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 not the close so as they get close to get maybe about 20 maybe coming up and about on about 20 minutes okay, so, till uh, two in the afternoon why unclear police, why but, uh, is this person fleeing from police had started in Maine to, yeah, a uh, uh, not like 6 10 5 or uh, at about 5 or 10 minutes ago it started at about 105 p.m. this afternoon 6 10 in Maine about five or five or five or 20 minutes ago or so and they continue on turning right especially since they likely don't know what's going on so right now that vehicle just took a right they don't know street they took a right on Perry street at that black Lexus sedan we are now approaching 35 minutes since they are approaching began again it started around 105 at and he has been on the run approaching the last 30 to 35 minutes yeah been going on Took off. At least the and last now we're about, 35 about minutes into this pursuit. Um, now looks yeah, like at least the last neighborhood area. Um, it seems to 30 be to 35 a lot of minutes are home, that the now. Is not what it would usually be at and it's on been going on for just a short while. This driver just yeah, 35 Keystone, minutes so or more, so. You can see more houses, residential areas, but also, and maybe um, someone it's, is it's always a dangerous situation here. No for one caring for them. On a beautiful afternoon, De temperatures in 80 degrees, sunny skies, and it's it's always a little it's always a little nerve wracking to watch these, Andy, because the nerve wracking to watch this. The driver just took. Uh, it's going now drawing southbound on MLK. Going so on southbound. Look at this black left sedan. turn on. Who the driver Southbound is. on MLK. Any other occupants in the vehicle at this time, but that driver is continuing to try to flee from police. It's continuing to try to flee from police. Of this vehicle to weigh a lot of decision making, quick thinking, decision making. Uh, you have to weigh. Okay. 
Now we're being told the driver's going right on Yellowstone. Uh, okay, you going right on Yellowstone, SUV I think. Still in pursuit of that he's car. having to. The uh, pursuing officers have he's to take having a lot of to. Consideration he, here. They have to worry about he's having the to deal else on the road. with they have to worry air about restriction and airspace. As well as the safety of the person who they're pursuing. That, that, uh, that this that aircraft place, this helicopter that DPS is in the air, not HPD. HPD cruisers, at least, behind that like this. Uh, you know, you don't see a lot of cars, uh, particularly out. Not we don't see a lot of cars. Area, but on, on, no one is hurt. Freeways, they got out of the still, road. Uh, you know, staying home, working from home. Just in time. Uh, we do have one HPD <laughs> staying, SUV. It looks like an SUV that's in pursuit of that they're truck. staying home, okay, working from color, home, okay. or the not staying, not for staying home, right going to work. As they head out the to work. Now making a left turn, going southbound left turn. on Cullen. Southbound on Collins Street, going okay, on, like going around the HPD cruiser, HPD going around the median, going around okay, the median before he gets uh, hurt. Pursuing this black Lexus, uh, difficult to pursuing say how this black Lexus. Of that car, uh, but this all started at 1:05 this afternoon. This all started 1:05 p.m. to 1:10 p.m. Maybe this afternoon in Maine, 6:10. In South Southeast Loop? Houston, we've yeah, seen they're it, in Southeast uh, Houston, go, Southeast uh, zip along on the freeways Houston. There on the South Loop and then exit Scott Street. So they're getting ready. They're, so they're getting a residential a, neighborhood near so Scott they're, they're, and Cullen. Uh, this yeah, person yeah. still in Fine. Southeast so Houston. So they're getting. So they're DPS, getting ready uh, to closer and closer to do a to pit maneuver. So they're getting Christine. ready to do a pit yeah, maneuver, everyone. A you're gonna pay it. You're gonna sue it to the, to the audience. Pay attention, uh, audience. The they're getting ready to do a pit maneuver. They're trying the to, but picking up speed. And as this chase continues, um, this driver driving more erratically. We don't know who driving the more wheel, or erratically exactly more. Um, this chase more. from police, but it's driving from what we understand more as erratically. We understand stop. So sort of a traffic stop an initiated uh, traffic stop. And then this driver took off, and now we're approaching almost 40 this driver minutes, um, took off, from police. and now this chase has been going on for about 30 going on, now on for about 35 to 40 minutes or so, on, and they've seen the driver the picking um, up really speed, no, leaving no in and out in the, the lane. Drivers. And as we were talking about Andy, now they're approaching are staying home, 288, bank on the freeway, really paying no no mind to the other drivers. He had open road, passing cars. They're trying to get up on the right side of that car. Where there's a lot of construction going on right now. So there's a lot of construction site going on. You can see. You can he's, see sorry, 288. He's on the loop, but he just crossed 288. Uh, again, this he is just the crossed part 288. Of the city of Houston, uh, a DPS trooper in close pursuit there. City as of, you can see, city, uh, a lot of city of construction Houston. going on in this area around the 610 South Loop. And construction see, going around, uh, those going on in this area. Toward the right side of your screen. 610 and uh, loop. 610 DPS South trooper, Loop. As you can see, uh, gaining ground, but keeping a safe distance behind that gaining black Lexus. ground. Again, this started at 1:05 this afternoon. 1:05 after an officer p.m. to 1:10 p.m. To pull that car over. This That's afternoon, when the driver just took off. We've seen this chase. Driver took over off. The course of 45 minutes. Uh, this chase has been going on. 35 to areas of South went on for about 35 to 40 minutes or that so, maybe. Park right yeah, now. going on. Uh, again, oh my goodness! Oh my! Take, this is all taking place right now on the South. Just hit loop. the. Cons Areas one of those of construction tones. He's doing everything weaving, he can to uh, lose police, but not, that is not going to happen. This chase has uh, been going on in the area, for about 45 uh, minutes or so. Yeah, it's been going on for about 40 to 45 minutes uh, or so. <laughs> Not too bad. Excuse me. On a Monday been going on at, at, at least the last 40 to 45 minutes or so. Right, they've seen the driver picking up speed. Excuse me. If you're just joining us, um, yeah, I've been going on 
for about 45 on minutes or Lexus so. Sedan, uh, yeah, and is going on. DPS right now. So the DPS yeah, at least the last 40 to 45, shortly, uh, uh, 45 vehicle, minutes uh, or so. Gain, gain speed, um, get closer and and they've seen the driver picking up speed. Using a manual shift mode. Shift. And it's been going on for about 45 minutes now. It's been going on for about 45 to 50 minutes or so. And they've seen the driver picking up speed and going on for about 50 minutes now. And they've seen the driver picking up speed. We've seen some very aggressive <coughs> moves by this very, driver no, no, no. in a very attempt aggressive to flee from which has been going on now since 105. Which were going on now for about uh, difficult to say 20 to 30 minutes or so since the police uh, at a high rate of speed. started the chase. So the since the police started his chase. On going on, uh, not going on, going northbound. On 610 uh, North West Loop, where we typically see a lot of bottlenecking picking up speed, picking up speed. Uh, really this is gonna bottleneck, yeah, bottlenecking, it seems that people are still trying to, at home or, to or pass all the cars, leaving in and out of more open than they typically would be on a Monday afternoon. On a Monday a afternoon, hour, but that driver, just giving that driver more clear road to, so to let's listen. police at this point. But we're looking live at that Lexus, black Lexus. Dan that has been trying to get away from police for about almost 45 minutes now. We're told that vehicle is now yep, coming up uh, towards the Bel Air area at this hour. But Andy, we were talking about how dangerous now. of a situation this always is when we see vehicles fleeing police because it is. this is unfolding in real time, as you know. The vehicles on the road, they are, they're unaware of what's going on. So they're just going on their merry way, not knowing that there is a dangerous situation unfolding all around them. And we really see the true danger when these vehicles exit exit the freeway I, right right now we that yes. driver just exiting Holcomb there in southeast, uh, southwest Houston, excuse me. Uh, you can see the vehicle there oh, as the yeah. shot freezes. All right, we just lost it there for a second. There it is right there, the black uh, Lexus sedan going southbound on the west loop again. So uh, getting back on to the south loop, it appears that DPS trooper uh in close pursuit as this chase continues. Uh, we've seen oh, it go oh, through areas oh. of South Houston, Southeast Houston, now into Southwest Houston uh, at a high rate of speed at 1.48 in the afternoon. Still a lot of unanswered questions regarding this chase. Uh, why did this officer initiate a traffic stop in the first place? And why is this person running from police? Uh, still a, a lot of unknowns at this hour that we are still trying to uh, hammer out for you. All right, southbound on the, on west. the west loop approaching Beach Nut. Uh, here it is getting close to 10 minutes to 2. If you are just joining us here on Channel 2, you are watching our live coverage of a high-speed pursuit that started around 5 minutes after 1 o'clock this afternoon uh, because of an officer-initiated traffic stop. This was at 610 and Main. The person refused to stop, and the chase was on. And here we are, uh, you know, close to an hour later. All right, now... The car is going eastbound on the south loop. Eastbound on the south loop. Behind that vehicle in close pursuit, we are told, is a DPS trooper. You can see uh, the trooper's SUV coming up there on the right on the passenger side. And we know that HPD patrol cars, Christine, are following as well. So uh, two law enforcement agencies at least now involved in this pursuit. Yeah, and we can't tell exactly how fast they're going from our vantage point, but you can see that vehicle weaving in and around traffic and clearly traveling faster than the vehicles around it. But that DPS trooper hot on the trail of that sedan again, and that, that vehicle is now approaching NRG again. Um, but these situations are always certainly dangerous, and we're seeing because folks are tending to stay home, 
home right now that the roads are more open than they usually would be. But we have seen this vehicle in the past 45 minutes um, traveling the areas of southeast Houston, south Houston, um, southwest Houston, on the freeways, in residential areas, um, disregarding traffic stops and intersections. And that always puts other drivers in danger. But we're seeing that DPS trooper get closer and closer. And again, this, this vehicle is now approaching the, the uh, uh, Kirby. Right, South Loop and Kirby uh, going at a high rate of speed, weaving in and out of traffic. Uh, you know, the silver lining, and we can't stress this enough, the silver lining in all of this is we don't see nearly the volume of vehicles that we would typically see ha had we not been in our situation with the stay-at-home orders being relaxed and eased and lifted, uh, a lot of folks staying off the roads. Uh, you can see there toward the center of your screen, that is the black Lexus sedan that the DPS troopers and HPD are chasing. Uh, the cars, the vehicles now approaching, uh, approaching excuse me, uh, Fannin and the South Loop, Fannin and the South Loop. Again, DPS and HPD involved in this high-speed pursuit that has been going on since five minutes after one. Uh, still unclear why this driver is running from police or how many people are in that vehicle. We don't know if, if the driver has any additional uh, passengers or whatnot. Uh, these are things that we are working to find out right now. Um, but certainly if, you know, you know anybody that's out on the road or, or you have to head out in this area of southwest Houston and south Houston, this is an area that you're going to want to avoid. Um, you know, as this driver continues to take some aggressive maneuvering uh, in order to escape from police, Christine. And, and that's what makes it so dangerous. I mean, obviously, because you have a vehicle that is running from police and paying no regard to any other driver on the roads, it's always a dangerous situation. But, Andy, we've seen this driver go all over the city. There's no rhyme or reason uh, for any moves aside from just trying to get away from police. And that always makes for um, just a, a dangerous, sketchy situation for drivers on our roadways. And as we're seeing with the open road, that driver of that black sedan uh, is able to to continue to get it. Okay, approaching 288 right now, I'm being told. So again, always a dangerous situation when these drivers are paying no regard to to the drivers out there. And especially when they're approaching places like intersections and neighborhoods where there are people outside, where there are kids outside. It always kind of makes your heart stop a little bit. But um, again, we're, we're focusing our attention to this black sedan um, via our look from Sky 2. Now going southbound on Highway 288 in the south part of our city. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure what DPS's policy is with respect to police chases, but I know HPD, which is also involved in this chase, has made some revisions to its chase policies as well. Uh, you know, pursuing officers in these types of cases have a lot of uh, tools and resources at their disposal, one being the pit maneuver, which officers have trained for. Uh, and a lot of times, if the pursuing officers... If they can get ahead of this chase, many times you'll see them lay out spike strips. We have not seen that happen thus far, but we have seen this chase uh, take place on a busy freeway like you're seeing now here on 288, as well as in through residential neighborhoods. Okay, so southbound 288 at Reed Road. That's where that black SUV and the pursuing law enforcement officers are. You can make out uh, at least two law enforcement vehicles pursuing that black Lexus, which just exited the Reed Road exit, we were told. Uh, now that DPS trooper pulling up in the All right. far left lane, trying to get onto the driver's side. Now Can't it appears he's pulling back just Oh my goodness, getting southbound on 288, exiting right there. Uh, Reed, that white car, Reed, uh, okay, tapping. exiting Exiting. That black Lexus Reed. is a right turn. Okay, exiting. Okay, exiting. Reed Road exit. Off Putting at 288 near Exxon. Gas station. Oh my goodness, he window. hit a car. We can see the officers you can with see. their weapons drawn. <coughs> Looks like there's several, several Okay, officers. you can see several officers. Right there. And they're keeping DPS their distance, helicopter staying on the driver's DPS, side of the DPS SUV. DPS helicopter. This is a Reed Road just off Highway DPS, 288. Again, towards the bottom of your screen, DPS, it appears you can DPS, see the driver has two hands is outside on the, air, the driver's side window. And DPS, we see two, four, six officers DPS, on the 
driver's the side DPS of the DPS SUV has SUV their hands with their weapons drawn pointed squarely at that black DPS is right over there, here, DPS, helicopter and a DPS SUV with their weapons drawn and they pull off a few minutes so, ago course, and they just did a, they tried to do a pit maneuver, he keeps going and going, else is in the vehicle or who exactly is nobody the else wheel, is in the vehicle, one male, officers with their weapons just drawn. Were, um, getting ready sure. to probably head up to that vehicle and likely make the next moves with this suspect. So this chase coming to an end 50 coming, minutes uh, coming after it began, to an end, now 50, turning into what appears to be a standoff coming situation up, between coming law enforcement to an end officers who've been pursuing nearly 50 this driver minutes, through areas of minutes, south, southeast, 50, and southwest Houston. Nearly 50, uh, and that person... Nearly Stop there 50 near minutes Exxon off of Reed into the Road, chase, into the pursuit. It appears that person, that now, driver, has both hands they've seen the driver the window, picking up speed uh, and nearly 55 uh, minutes later, between the two parties, came to an end 60 minutes, 60 minutes drawn, later, right 60, next to the DPS 60, SUV on the driver's side. Uh, 60 minutes, and it appears minutes, that, that driver yeah, 60, of the vehicle is opening 60, the door and possibly about to step 60 out, minutes, but both hands are 60 minutes later, the driver right came to it as their weapons are and drawn, also and a K-9 unit standing by, and you can see other officers about 55 uh, in the back to 50 to 55 to, to assist the others, but 60, again, we don't know what kind of conversation is happening between minutes the troopers and later, the person behind the wheel, the suspect, who had just led police about. on a 50 okay. Minute mm. chase um, all mm. around the uh, the Houston I area, southwest Houston, place, um, south Houston, uh, southeast Houston. Um, it began around 1:05 this 60 afternoon. It was originally uh, started following ended. a a potential traffic stop, but that uh, that driver then took off. We don't know why. Traffic stop. Uh, we'll likely figure that out um, in the hours you to come. Know. But as you can see, this situation unfolding live, following a 50 minute police chase, that driver. Looks like about to step out of the vehicle, but again, we never know these conversations between these suspects and law enforcement. Yeah, and this all coming to, to an end out of the vehicle. at Reed Road, just off 288, right near an Exxon. If you were just joining us now here at 157 in the afternoon, you were watching the end of a high-speed police Sorry, pursuit. Mom, okay? Uh, trying to keep my voice down. Went through many parts of our city this afternoon, including South Houston, Southeast Houston, and Southwest Houston. It appears that driver is putting his hands on top of the vehicle, uh, facing the vehicle. Hands on top of that vehicle. Now the driver is putting both hands up, walking and tomorrow, back. Walking we're going to be recording. We're going to be recording. Officers. We have hands two still tons up of in the air. Officers still have the their weapons drawn. Taking the warm tone. Yeah. At that black <laughs> Lexus sedan that they've black been chasing. Black Lexus sedan. So we've seen the suspect. We've uh, seen the suspect. Walk backwards. What? Walk backwards. Put their hands takes, up on the vehicle. It took five now or that fifteen minutes. The driver is turning around. Or so hands still up vehicle. in the air, turning it around five in circles. Or 20 minutes. Uh, unclear again, end. as Christine mentioned, it took, it took what conversations are taking place or so uh, is, is not clear to, to anyone at this get point. The but, out. But, but the driver obviously is, is, ten minutes has been given clear, so to specific instructions to get the from law enforcement out of the officers. Car. Uh, several of those law enforcement officers, law enforcement officers are, are on the scene right now. Uh, trying now it to get ended. this suspect into custody without incident. 60. And we're looking at about minutes, at least a dozen officers later, with ended. DPS and HPD and uh, assisting originally in that pursuit of the vehicle. Uh, that driver now within arm's reach of the officers looks like they are now currently arresting him. Um, but this again started around 105. So within the past hour, about an hour, this situation was unfolding the across the, the Houston area. Half There's also a K-9 unit ended. right there uh, assisting officers with with this arrest, but um, it seemed that it ended. The driver surrendered to police as soon as it exited uh, and was and going through an intersection and tapped another vehicle. It wasn't a law enforcement vehicle, it was just another civilian who was out. driving. And as soon as that happened, that driver stopped. And, and your hope vehicle. always in situations like this is that it comes to a peaceful end where no.
no one gets hurt because we know how dangerous the situations are. But you can see now that happened, the, the driver responding stopped. officers now looking through that vehicle. We originally were wondering if it was only one occupant in that vehicle. It seems that the one driver that was just uh, that arrested vehicle. and currently being uh, and taken it. into police custody, uh, we were curious that was the only I'm person in the out. vehicle. Turns out, room, at room, least from our vantage room. point, that it so, was. Uh, still a lot of questions, the, Andy, the that here. we have at this point. Why did that driver flee? Um, yeah. what, what kind of secrets was that person hiding? Or is there some sort of arrest now out for, you guys in the next for, video. For, that, uh, for, for a warrant Later out for his arrest? We, those questions will be answered um, in the future. Adios. Yeah, but this, this situation, Bye, you know, Bye. we've seen Bye. these unfold and play out so often Bye. on our airwaves here in the Houston area. And there's so many different ways uh, that, that these situations could <laughs> end. Today, it comes to an end uh, <clears throat> peacefully without incident that suspect surrendering Today, to police uh, just Today, before 2 o'clock this to afternoon end. right off Highway 288 and Reed Road near an Exxon station after a 50-minute pursuit across south, southeast, and southwest Houston. Uh, you watched it unfold live on our air, the suspect finally coming to an end after tapping another vehicle uh, exiting while exiting Reed Road. Yeah, again, this started at 105 at 610 in Maine. Uh, it started as an officer-initiated traffic stop, and it ends about 55 minutes later with that driver in custody. We, of course, will keep you updated on the latest developments regarding this chase on clicktohouston.com and our news coming up at 4 o'clock. This has been breaking news. For continuing coverage, go to clicktohouston.com.